Hello, this is Adam, your friendly business communications developer relations engineer. In this video, I explain how to launch your business messages agents so customers can find them on Google Search and Google Maps. This process is what we call verification and launch. The verification process is our way of making sure that you represent a brand and that your agent's information is correct. And the launch process is where you can take a verified agent and locations and make them discoverable to users on the internet. We'll discuss the basics, which include foundational building blocks of business messages and the different types of entry point groups. Then we'll dive into the necessary setup by looking at a bird's eye view of the full process from development to verification and all the way to launch. We'll also look at how to prepare for verification and to wrap up the video, we'll learn how to request verification on agents and locations and then launch them onto Google search and Google maps. Business messages conversations are made up of three key entities. The brand, the agent, and the location are entities that you create and configure either through the Business Communications API or the Business Communications Developer Console. They are what make up the agent's appearance and control certain behaviors. Let me show you really quickly how you can create these entities using the Business Communications Developer Console. In the Business Communications Developer Console, we'll create a brand and an agent together by clicking on Create Agent. We want to ensure the agent type is set correctly to the product we are working with, in this case, business messages. The partner account is the account that's tied to your GCP project. In brand, we can specify the brand you're working with. I'll put growing tree bank and the agent name will be banking agent. Once you click on create agent, the developer console begins making requests to the business communications API to create the brand entity and the agent entity. Once complete, we'll be able to click on the card and see the agent overview. In this overview, you'll be able to see the brand identifier and the agent identifier, among other things. To create a location, you can click on locations in the left hand nav menu, then add. We are presented with an input field and a map. In the input field, we'll specify a place like the Googleplex or whatever dedicated place you want to create a location entity for. And once we click add, this will create a location entity. With these entities created, you can configure where they will be launched. Let's come back to the types of entry points and elaborate on this further. There are plenty of different entry points and we are constantly adding new ones. For the set that you can see on screen, we have three primary groups of entry points, which you can launch agents to location based entry points, which are tied to physical places in the real world. Non-local entry points are tied to a customer support or other search intent. And brand managed entry points are those which you can place anywhere. These could be in a QR code embedded in an app or on a website. I'll talk about what's needed to launch these entry points in a moment. Something important to note is that when you launch on an entry point group, you cannot choose which entry point within that group you want to launch on. Additionally, if a brand does not have a search listing through a certain entry point like Sitelinks, Launching your business messages agents or locations will not create that entry point for that brand. Let's talk about the bird's eye view from development to verification and launch before we get into the thick of it. You first need to create and configure your business messages, brands, agents, and locations. Then you deploy a web service. This web service exposes a URL endpoint we call your webhook. Set your webhook using the business communications API or the Business Communications Developer Console. When users send your agents messages, we send those messages to your webhook as web requests and you use the Business Messages API to send messages back to users. Check out my other video called Sending Your First Message where I walk you through the process end to end to having your first conversation with an Echobot. After you've worked on your webhook logic and you're happy with what it is capable of and the user journeys it supports, then you're ready to make your conversations discoverable on Google Search and Google Maps. To enable those chat entry points in search and maps for your customers, you need to follow this two-step process. Step one is verifying your agent and verifying locations if applicable for the business. And step two is actually launching the agent and locations. Before you go ahead and verify your agent, make sure they are configured correctly. The agent configuration determines a lot of the behavior that your users interact with and see. So it's crucial to make sure it is correct before you verify the agent. 
If you take a look at our reference documentation, you can see a large number of attributes that can be configured. I won't go through all fields ad nauseum here, but to name a few, your agent configuration allows you to take advantage of features like automated responses through the dialogue flow association. Users can authenticate through the conversation over OAuth using authorization config, and you can customize surveys using the survey config. Most importantly, the entry point configs determine where your agents will be launched to. Ensure you configure all fields of your agent the way you want it to behave before you request verification. Some of these fields will become non-editable, but you will still be able to edit the conversational settings, custom agent ID, primary agent interaction, additional agent interactions, and the phone number. You can learn more about other features in our developer documentation. Let's dive deeper into how agent verification works. There are two different types of verification, manual verification and automated verification. Let's start with the manual verification process first. You can request verification using the Business Communications API or the Business Communications Developer Console. Remember, ensure your agent is configured correctly before you request verification. It makes launching smoother if your agent is configured the way you need it to be before you verify it. When you initiate the verification request, you provide contact info from someone at the brand and your own contact details. This puts your agent into a verification pending state the request initiates and sends two emails which require your brand contact's attention. The brand contact must reply saying they grant you the right to send messages on their behalf. And they must also send a security key that we've sent them in a separate email. Once the brand contact has completed this, our support team proceeds with the rest of the verification process and modifies your agent's state to verify. Congrats! With locations you've already created that are associated with your agent, you can now begin verifying those locations. Similar to verifying an agent, you can initiate a request to verify a location via the Business Communications API or the Business Communications Developer Console. We check that the associated agent is verified and that the place ID for the location matches up with the exact business. If you've added more than one location for the agent, we verify all associated locations. So you really only need to send us a single location verification request. Once our support team validates the locations, the locations are updated and the states are visible by looking in the Business Communications Developer Console or fetching the location entities using the Business Communications API. You can then proceed with launching them. This seems like a lengthy process that might not be suitable for situations where you have thousands of locations. Fortunately, we do have an automated verification process that you can take advantage of to streamline your launches. Our automated verification process leverages Google My Business listing verifications as a means to auto-verify the agents and locations in business messages. It requires a little bit of setup, but once you get the flow down right, you can auto-verify hundreds and thousands of locations and agents with ease and swiftness. To implement automated onboarding for business messages, you must initiate an OAuth login flow with the Google My Business listing owner or manager. Once they log in, they're notified that your application is requesting two scopes of access, access to their Google My Business listing data, and access to the Business Communications API. Once the listing owner or manager authorizes your application, you receive an auth code that you can exchange for an access token. On the business messages agents you've already created, you can take this access token to verify them using the API to request verification. Additionally, you can use the data available on Google My Business to add all location data relevant to the agent and use the access token to verify those locations as well. This process will immediately verify the agents and locations you request verification on. And just like the manual verification process, once your agents and locations are verified, you can proceed to launching them. Before we get off the topic of verification, let's chat a little bit about the common pitfalls we've seen when partners are verifying agents. When you launch on a Google entry point, you must support live agents. Your agent configuration must include at least one entry point configuration. Ensure the brand contact email matches the brand domain. Ensure that the logo or a similar logo is discoverable within the brand's website. Test agents are rejected from launch. Make sure to verify only agents you intend to use in production. Have your agent configured correctly before requesting verification. Again, some fields will become non-editable and you'll need to reach out to our support team if you want to change them. You can use the pre-verification checklist on the developer website to help catch any issues before you verify. The launch process is simple. You initiate a launch request using the Business Communications API or through the Business Communications Developer Console. You can launch agents and locations separately. 
Earlier in this video, we looked at where agents can be launched to. Let's shift focus now and understand the launch process for each entry point group. If you want to launch on a brand managed entry point, you need to create a business messages agent, ensure it has an entry point configuration, and then initiate a verification request on the agent. Once in a verified state, you can place the URL entry point anywhere a brand desires, or convert the URL into a QR code and place it onto a physical location as well. To launch the agent on non-local entry points, ensure you have non-local set on the entry point config of the agent, and then you launch that agent. You can use the same agent used for brand managed entry points. For launching the agent on the location entry point, ensure the agent has locations set on the entry point config. And then assuming all your locations are already created, then initiate a verification request on a single location. Our support team will look at the request and if they see multiple locations associated with the agent, our support team will try to verify all of them. Once the agents and locations are verified, you can launch them separately. Within a few hours, you should be able to find the search listing showing the chat button on specified entry points. Remember that even if you launch all entry points, not all entry points may be available if the business doesn't already have them. Make sure to use the pre-launch checklist on the developer website to help catch any issues before you launch. In conclusion, the whole process of getting your agents onto Google Search and Google Maps are as follows. Create your agent, configure your agent, create locations for each brick and mortar place. Verify your agent, verify your locations, launch your agents, and then launch your locations. Now that you have this information, verify and launch as many agents and locations as your heart desires. Thank you for watching this video. Make sure to check out some of the other resources such as the developer website, the marketing toolkit, and the product website. Make sure to catch us at our bi-weekly office hours. Thank you again and see you soon.